hello again welcome to my channel um, the art channel and um, we're showing off some uh, crocheting skills today um, I made a video but somehow the actual you know project didn't get in the picture so I had to make the video over the way you do it is you go like this to where start like that excuse me if I'm a stutterer you know I must drop my hook sorry about that but I'm not a real star at making videos but wait I don't have much experience with that but this is how you start you just you string like that you pull your uh, so you can go like that pull it through and wait probably need some more light excuse me ah light that's what the problem was one of the problems we didn't have enough of light so um this is what it should look like and you just go like that through pull it through wrap around pull it through wrap around pull it through I made a ring and we're gonna make another ring today on this channel and on this video and this is what it's gonna look like when it's done hopefully I can okay we're just gonna do a few stitches like this see how I'm doing it I see how it looks kind of like a little uh like a little like a little tiny braid looking thing that's what it should look like and we're just going to keep going until we get a long enough piece to make a ring. I used to make friendship bracelets and friendship rings. And I used to get them out of the gum machines as well. But it's cheaper just to buy your string and make them. You know, I mean, back when I was a kid, exchanges, uh, friendship jewelry, you know, friendship rings and bracelets, you know, was not really jewelry, you know, but exchange them was a trend back when I was a kid in school wherever you had peers you know you were always exchanging friendship bracelets and uh, rings this I think is gonna be a bracelet we already have a ring so um, we're gonna do a bracelet and you know, just keep going like that like that just like you see me doing you don't want to let your loop get too big, because you know if you if you let your loop out and you pull, your stitches are gonna all pull out. You see how that just popped out like that? So if your loop if your hook slips out, you just basically take care not not to pull that. You just stick it right back in and you continue. And it's really not that hard. Like I said, I'm not a professional at this. I can't actually. Like make blankets and doilies and stuff that I can make little wearables and thingamajigs, you know. I have a friend, you know, who crochets, but I don't really get to see her in person too much. You now maybe I can get her to show me. And, that, and this is what it should look like. And it kind of stretches a little bit. Just a little bitty bit. But you always want to make sure it's not too big or not too small. Because if it's too big, it's going to fall off. If it's too small, then it'll... Oh, see? I just had it happen. Take care not to pull that. I just simply loop my hook back in and continue. And, uh... And continue on and it gets long faster than you think so you gotta pay close attention not to make it longer than what you want it so we're like I said we're making a little bracelet <coughs> excuse me and this is how we do it <coughs> Every once in a while, you gotta pull your uh, your loop a little tighter, you know, so it doesn't get so big that 
you got spaces in your stitches so that your hook slides out. You know what I'm saying? This can be a little frustrating sometimes. So I was on the full one. You just stay patient and vigilant and getting better at it, you know. And I'm going to say, look how long it already got. <laughs> Gonna go up. Gonna go a little bit longer, and then we're gonna we're gonna wrap it around, see how it fits, and if it's the right size. Then the next skill is gonna be to learn how to end and lock your stitch so they don't all pop out, because it can be confusing when you get to your finishing point. Okay, we want to go a little longer. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <clears throat> you have to excuse me if I'm grunting and clenching my teeth, you know what I mean? Because it does get a little bit of a challenge, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm trying to appear as relaxed as possible because this is going on YouTube and I don't want to look like a doof. And all like grunting and clenching teeth and all that stuff. I don't look like an idiot. Okay, we're going to stop right here and we're going to see. Okay, that looks like it's big enough for me. And now uh, we're going to take and take your scissors and cut like that and you're gonna take the hook and you're just gonna pull through like that pull it and it locks the stitch and you got a bracelet let's see this is how I tie things again you don't want to make it too small or too excuse me big Oh, you got a friendship bracelet to go with the ring. <laughs> okay, and you want to cut off this excess. Hang on. You want to have these tails hanging on here, so you want to cut that off as well. And you got a bracelet. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.